Hey guys, welcome to ED Technology. In today's practical, we are discussing on classification using the Weka tool. So that is known as building a classifier and we will be using the J48 algorithm, which is one of the three types algorithm, right? And there are a lot of algorithm for classification available in the Weka. So we'll be exploring or just have an overview of those things. Also for this practical, we are using the same uh, data set which we have used earlier, which is weather numeric dot arf or weather numeric dot arff, right? So if you have not referred our earlier practicals, I would suggest you refer them through the channel. So in this practical, we are going to check and explore various types of classifiers available with Weka tool. We are going to work with J48, as I said, a tree based classification algorithm so we'll run it examine it and also observe the output and in the end we'll try to understand and interpret the confusion matrix right so let us do that and let us explore what we are going to do throughout this practical right so as you know this is Weka GUI chooser we'll be choosing the explorer here once you open the explorer we get different tabs we have seen that in the earlier practical so let us open the file. I go to the location where my data files for our data is. Weka 3.8 data. And I choose weather numeric dot R file. So this is how it will look like. This is what we have seen in the earlier practical. Let's go to classify tab and we have building the classifier options in here. So as you can see in here, there are multiple types of classifier. So if we are using biased theorem or bias based methods, so we have biased classifier and we have functions based classifier. We have lazy, meta, miscellaneous, rule based and trees. So we have different types of classification algorithm. We are not exploring uh, each of them right now in this practical. Maybe in some other video, we might discuss the same. In this particular video, we are going with J48, which is a tree type. So you can see it here. So this is J48. Just like the filters, you click on the white space, you get one more window, which is generic object editor, which allows you to edit and modify the code. In case you want to, you know, modify the parameters, then you can use this. I'm not playing with uh, any of these right now in this practical, but uh, you know, some parameters which are important here are like confidence factor and also the seed value. So we'll come back to them in the earlier, uh, you know, up upcoming videos, but nothing now. We'll also see how to modify and use it. Also in here, if you can see, there are different ways of testing. So we can use this as in the training set, right? we can supply a separate test set. So, you know, training and uh, testing is like we are dividing the data into a form where we're training an algorithm on a particular set of the data and we are testing on the rest of the part. So if you have a separate supply, you know, tested, you can choose it from here. This is cross validation and we have 10 folds. You can change the folds depending on the requirement. So this can be 3, 30, 25 etc but as i said in this uh, you know basic practical we are not modifying that parameter for now also we have percentage split so if you want to divide this data into you know training and the testing you can do it here so 66 percent is the training set and remaining is the testing set similarly we get a lot of options in here related to uh, modifying the classifier but I'm not doing that. I'm not even changing that. Plus here you can choose on which attribute would you like to apply this particular classifier. But as I said, I'm not modifying this. This is a very basic practical. I'm trying to show you how to interpret classification and apply it. So I press start and this is what I get as in the result in this white screen, right? So let us scroll up. Let us see. So there are 14 instances, five attributes, and we can see them here. The test mode was 10 mode, uh, 10 fold cross validation. 
so that is there we have a prone tree here of the same right and number of leaves can be seen which are five the size of the tree is eight and if we scroll down a little down so correctly classified instances are nine which is 60 percent 64 percent accuracy similarly you we can see here you know true positives false positive rate precision recall f measure etc so these are different parameters on the basis of which we analyze the output of the classification algorithm and if we come down here as i said earlier in the video we are discussing confusion matrix so there are two types of you know possibility in the weather whether the play will happen or not so the algorithm classified in the first case you know as in yes but seven of them were true as you can see in the first row right to out of the total nine seven of them were classified correctly as true as in the play will happen and two of them were misclassified similarly three of them were uh, misclassified as play will happen and two of them were correctly classified as two uh, you know play not being happening so if you see the diagonal 7 plus 2 is the total which you will get here which is the 9 total number of correctly classified instances and this diagonal in here is nothing but 3 plus 2 incorrectly classified so basically confusion matrix helps you understand and also interpret how good your algorithm is doing and it also helps you understand where your algorithm is actually faulty whether it is classifying the true as in the false or false as in the true or vice versa so this is how you can interpret uh, you know basic classification algorithm and i think this is what the basic instances is you can modify the algorithm and you can see different runs here and you know you can change the algorithm let's say in the tree itself if we try the random forest sorry random tree and we apply so the algorithm gives you 78 percent classification and you can see the instances here so this is how it should be done in the classification and the further videos will see how to build different classifiers all right you are new here consider subscribing also to learn more hit the bell icon to never miss an update from me d technology